Hey everyone, good morning girls. How is everyone doing? Girls and guys, everyone in this awesome group. I am so happy to be here. I'm going to hang out a few minutes. There's usually a delay sometimes on the Facebook Live, so I'm going to wait for everyone to hop on for 10 o'clock exactly. What time are we at? It's 10 o'clock exactly, so I'm always early. So I'm going to wait a few minutes for everyone to hop on. As you come on, just say hashtag live or hashtag replay so Denise and I can kind of track and make sure that we answer all your questions. I'm going to be discussing all about intuition, messaging, and marketing. And then afterwards, I'm going to be doing a and a So if you put your questions in the chat box in the comments, make sure you put them in the comments. I will answer them. If there's a delay and I don't get to them while I'm on the live, I will answer them. I promise you, once the live finishes, they will be in this thread and I will be answering all your questions. So once again, I want to say good morning. My name's Maria Fontana. For those of you that don't know me, I am your favorite intuitive business consultant and growth strategist. And if you're wondering what the hell does that mean, well, basically what I do is I bring 33 years of my entrepreneurial experience. So I've been an entrepreneur for 33 years offline. I've had multiple businesses. I've had many successes and I've had a few failures too. I'm divorced. I've been through loss, bankruptcy, uh, depression, anxiety, you name it, lost my mind and recovered. So I decided to do a lot of personal development work on myself. I'm very transparent. And I bring my intuitive magic, my gift from my soul, my business experience, and my life experience of rebuilding my life from the bottom up again, because I did hit rock bottom, into my practice. So I started a consulting practice a few years ago. I brought that business online, and I brought it to multiple six figures. So this is what I share. So I'm sharing this with you guys intimately in this group. Hi, everyone. I see you all coming on. Hi, Terry. Hey, Denise. Hey, Tina. Like I said, there's usually a delay in these, so if I don't, you know, address you right away, don't take it personally. I will get to everyone, I promise. So let's move forward. Before we do anything else, I'm going to ask you guys all to put your feet on the ground, if you can. And if you have shoes on, slip them off. I want your feet touching the ground, like barefoot or with your socks on, whatever. And I want everyone to just take a deep breath. So let's just do that all together. Ready? How about another one? Now, this helps me get aligned with all you guys. It helps me just really be in the moment. It helps me look at you, feel every single one of you. Because when I'm on a Facebook Live or when I do a live training, I love to connect with you where I feel like I can touch you. Like I want you to be in the same energetic space with me because that's so important to me. One little detail I forgot to mention to you guys. One of my businesses that I had for 33 years, I've been a hairdresser for 33 years. So I have mastered taking, holding space, and being with people in the same very close energetic space. And a lot of those clients have become my consulting clients as I did evolve. So I don't hide this factor for the simple reason that everyone needs to understand that in your life, as we reinvent ourselves, hey, everyone, I see you coming on. Hello, beautiful people. You can shift what you're doing. You can take your superpower and your magic and open another branch of business for yourself. Don't be afraid to follow your gut and do that. So let's go into today's discussion. So as you guys all know, I am intuitive. What does intuitive mean? Well, it could have a different meaning for everyone. I'm going to tell you what my take is on it and how it facilitated so much success in my life, personally and professionally, guys. So your intuition is here. It's that heart center. It's your knowing without knowing. It's your inner voice. Or as I've heard many healers, teachers, and practitioners I work with say, it's your divine feminine talking. It's that voice that's so strong that knows, it knows everything you need to know. 
But what has happened, happened to me, I'm sure it happened to a lot of you guys, because the reality is shit happens. Our upbringing, our schooling, maybe our parents, the people that raised us. And once again, I'm not wronging anyone because everyone's just doing the best they can with what they know how at that given moment. So you have to forgive them and let them go, move past that. They may have shut you up. Don't listen to your gut. You know, they didn't tell you don't listen to your gut, but you're like, no, you don't know what you're saying. Be quiet. So as children, because up until seven years old, we do listen to our instincts like we're instinctual did you ever see a freaking unhappy baby a baby wants to eat it screams it's crying it needs to poop it lets you know so think back to when before seven years old i'm getting goosebumps just talking about this guys think back to when you were little and think back if there's children in your lives or you have anyone that's under seven look at them and realize the reality of what it is now listen i grew up in a freaking screwed up, dysfunctional, crazy Italian family. Give me some hearts, guys. If this resonates with you, give me some hearts. And of course, they were doing the best they could too. I, I, I had to forgive them and let them go. And especially culturally, it's not their fault. Everyone's just doing the best they can. So I was always like, anything that was outside of the norm or outside of like the respect box was shut down. So of course, I was always super intuitive, but it was shut off, shut off. So that is what intuition is. So before we go past that, I want you all guys for a second, stop listening to me. Stop listening to yourselves and just feel what it feels like. Feel your soul. Okay. Now that you connected with your soul, that all knowing higher self, it's not magical. It's not like something that you got to buy. It's not something you got to turn on. We're born with it. Everyone. I don't care what religion you are. I don't care what nationality you are. We all have it. It's our soul, our inner light, and we all have it. Okay. So now that we are present with that, we know what that is. And it's not even about knowing. It's just about feeling. And it could be scary if you've been not listening to it. And it could be scary if you've tuned that out for a long time. Once you listen to it more and practice these few tips I'm going to give you, I'm going to show you how you're going to incorporate that all into your business. All right. So let's talk about how many of you, because I know you're all entrepreneurs of some level. Some of you might be new entrepreneurs. Some of you might be seasoned. Some of you might be just shifting because you were sick of the shit you were doing for so long and it's time to do something new. Wherever you are in your business, how many of you are kind of stumped and struggling with this whole, especially in the online space, what's your messaging? What's your message? How are you talking to people? Who's stuck creating their messaging that really is their soul? Talking and not all the bullshit someone else is telling you to talk about. I see tons and tons of hearts. I love it, guys. Thank you. I was so stressed out when I came in the online space because here I was a seasoned, real, as I say, real businesswoman from an offline practice of many years, all different sectors, salons, spas, cab company, private label hair products. And all of a sudden I was like, wait a minute, mess, why can't I get my message right? Like I never thought about my message when I was offline. What does that mean? As I struggled, and what happened was, guys, the struggle was because I was allowing other people to shut down. Thank you for all the hearts. I love it. Thank you so much. I was allowing online coaches, online nonsense, whatever it was, people I had paid tons of money for only because I was not experienced in the online space. So I came into the online space. Of course, I got sucked into the whole Insta coaching bullshit. And because I didn't know any better, you know, I'm 51 years old, a few years back, I was in my late 40s. I didn't know. I followed what they told me to do. And what happened is I crashed and burned. You know why I crashed and burned? Because it didn't resonate with me. No two businesses are the same. You cannot follow a freaking cookie cutter pattern in real business and expect to have a sustainable business. Now, what's sustainable? Sustainable is I'm a single mom. I've been divorced 12 years. I got two kids. I got to pay the bills. I have to have a sustainable income that I can scale. Listening to those people brought me nothing but debt. So 
backtrack because don't let me get started on that whole discussion. Okay. So now intuition, what happened was I shut everything down. I disconnected from the whole internet thing. And I started to go back into my gut and say, okay, Maria, how did you know what to say to people at 19 when you opened your first business? How did you make six figures? I went back to guess what? The feeling. I was manifesting and creating my own messaging for my intuition at 19 years old, but I didn't logically know I was doing it because I was simply operating from where? A place of energy, a place of knowing. When I was 19 years old and opened my first practice, people were like, "What are you, how are you going to do that? Like, you're only 19. Like, what, how, do, how are you going to do that? What are you doing? I just knew because I listened to my gut and I followed through on that pattern. So stepping back in my 50s, I had to go back to listen to my intuition. So I want to ask something. What's clouding your inner guidance? Guys, put in the comments. It's only us. You're safe in this group. No one's going to see this except us and who is in a safe place. What's clouding? Think, feel it. What is clouding your intuition? That, that's, that's stopping you from really just speaking who you are. Is it a coach? It, is it the online space? Is it the nonsense that's out there that's making you feel not good enough? That it's making you feel like you got to fit in and everyone's got to have a pastel looking website with the same font saying the same thing? Is it that? I want you to stop for a minute and feel into that feeling. So behaviors can be changed. So if you're not listening to your intuition, I'm going to challenge you for 21 days to give yourself. Now, I know most of you who are in this group are following your meditations. You're following Denise's energetic practices, which are life changing. Add this in too. I want you to intentionally ask her because it's a she. Your intuition's a she. Ask her what you need to know every single day, two, three times a day. I don't care if you're driving to be like, hey, what do I need to know? And when you get that feeling, intuition is that first gut feeling. The first feeling you get, as soon as you start going to the second feeling, guys, or as soon as you start going to second guessing, you're lost. It's not your rational mind. It is the feeling that comes up first. You know, you're driving and all of a sudden you're like, turn left. No, go this way instead of, you're like, what are you talking about? I always go this way. No, your intuition is telling you go left. There's a freaking reason. Divine timing. The universe has your back. There's a reason for why everything turns out that way. So intuition comes from a place of love, always from love. And your logical mind brings in from the place of ego. This is my take on it, from the place of fear. So you know what I say? Hey, fear, thanks for trying to help me out. I heard you. Now shut the fuck up. I ask her, I'm like, what do I need to know? Now, this is a practice I do repeatedly. I mean, I did it this morning. I, I woke up and I was feeling a little off. I'm like, okay, what do I need to know? What, what do I need today? What is it that I'm not paying attention to in my soul? I instantly got that answer. Wasn't what my logical mind was thinking, but I followed through. And here I am. Everything worked out just perfect. Takes a little practice like anything else. As you see my beautiful Denise working out, she did not get those biceps by just imagining they were going to be there. You have to do the exercises. And same thing with intuition. You want to build that invisible muscle, your intuitive muscle, which is there. You just have to start listening to it and do these exercises. Okay. So now I'm getting off track here because I get so passionate about stuff that I just can't shut the hell up. Okay. So the three ways that we're going to incorporate intuition. Thank you for all the hearts, guys. Let me see who else is on here. Let me just look. I don't know why these comments always get stuck when you're doing live, but I love you all, whoever's here. <laughs> I can't really see they're not moving. Okay. So we did the exercise of stepping back. So that's number one. The first way to hone into your intuition is stepping back, breathing. Let's see here. I see a whole bunch of stuff coming up. Lily, I'm a single mom divorce. Yes, guys, I know. I so appreciate Oh, I love all of these comments. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are awesome. Okay, wait, I lost myself. Where'd you go? Come back. Okay, so I want to just, um, 
let's go over one, the second thing. So detoxing. So what's really important is how many of you guys, okay, this is another question that's going to hit home and it might piss you off. How many of you ladies and gentlemen are maybe judging yourself? Judgment is the, the easiest way to block your miracles. Um, I read this in the Course of Miracles. When we allow judgment, judging ourselves, guys, just judging ourselves, we don't even realize we're doing it. It automatically puts up this crazy freaking barrier that stops us from attracting the miracles that we so much deserve. I found one of the easiest ways to detox ourselves from judgment, disconnect from anyone who's toxic to you. Now, I know this is not going to be easy. And you're like, what does this have to do with intuition? It absolutely does. If you're surrounded, and I don't care if it's physically, in your environment, your friends, your relationships, your husband, your spouses, your colleagues, or you're surrounded online, social media, you belong in all these goddamn toxic groups, all this jargon, it's like, I suggest step two to really honing into your intuition and creating an amazing brand for yourself and messaging, you got to detach from all that. You have to cut all that out of your life. What's not serving you and bringing you good joy and really making you feel good and helping you attract your miracles. I don't care if it's your best friend of 30 years. I've had to cut people out of my life. Now, cutting people out of your life doesn't mean you have to be like, you know, be mean to them and get rid of them all at once. It simply means you have to start slowly stepping back and changing your habits, how you behave with them. It could be instead of going out for dinner because you just, it's just too much. Maybe meet them for an occasional coffee. Maybe uh, family members, if you used to go on vacation with them, well, no longer go on vacation with them. Maybe we'll just go on a day trip to the beach. Like simple shifts, guys. And it's going to piss people off because I can tell you, when you really start honing in on your gifts, on your intuition, and you detach from all the toxicity, be it live or online, There's going to be people mad at you, and that's okay. Let them be mad and let them fall away like dry leaves. They're not serving you. You can love them from a distance. I remove people from my life, but guess what? I can still love them from a distance. I send them love and light. I send them good energy. If I still have love for them, I just can't hang around with them, okay? So live, do that. Make sure you clean up your relationships, guys. And it's not easy. It's going to be painful because the candy man, you're the candy man giving out candy. Now you're taking the bag of candy away. There's going to be a lot of pissed off people. That's their problem. It's not about you. The second way to detox, which is super important to be able to hone in on your intuition is detox electronically, guys. Detox electronically, meaning you cannot hone in on your intuition and create clear messaging for your business, be it offline or online, if you're bombarded with online jargon. This lesson I learned because I realized when I was 19, I wasn't exposed to that in my 20s, my 30s. When I started my online business, I was surrounded by all of that stuff because now I was online, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on YouTube, bombarded, mostly on Facebook, by all the Insta coaches. That clouded me. So detach, I suggest one week, plan it, put things on autopilot. There's so many different apps. I have one that I absolutely love. I can post the links underneath. I can't remember them off the top of my head. I have one thing that just posts stuff for me automatically. I have another thing that actually posts, I pre-record videos and it posts them to multiple by multiple um, avenues without me being really live. It says I'm live, but I'm not. And It's a great way to save time and not scroll on social media. So be really mindful of that. Take a week off. And during that week off, I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. If you really can't take a week, take a day, take two days, make it, make it something really conscious that when you're on social media, you're simply working on your business. Get out of all the groups. If it's not serving you, get out, get out and clear out. In that time that you're off, I suggest you get a nice notebook. Okay. Paper. It has to be on paper. I don't want you to do it electronically. And I want you to spend time in silence. And I want you to think about these few things. I want you to write you started. Do you remember why you started your business? 
I want you to use those tools. Write down what that feels like. Because what happens is we forget. I want you to hone in on the good feeling. Hey, Kervin. Hey, Lelina. Hey, D I just see so many comments coming in. I Thank you guys for watching. I want you to hone in and feel the feeling. Remember why you freaking started. And don't tell me it's about making money because money is just an energetic exchange for a service well rendered that comes from you doing what your life purpose is. We all know that. We all know that we just forget it. And that's okay. We're all human. I forget it too sometimes. And I get down the suck down the black hole. But the, the trick is you can pull yourself out. So by honing into that and writing down, don't second guess. I want you to write down exactly what comes up. Why are you doing this? What's the end result for these people? What are you actually doing for them? And it could be something so simple. One of my clients said to me, Maria, you just help me get unstuck and figure out how to get clarity. Hear all this stuff that I'm doing for her. But at the end of the day, I'm like, why? They keep telling me, you're getting me unstuck. You're getting me unstuck. You're making me aware. Now, how you get them there is your methodology. You don't need to explain that to anyone. Now, this is my theory. This is how I teach my my clients, this is the methodology I use in Zen and Profits. It doesn't mean anyone else's is wrong. This is what works for me and for my clients. This is my magic as my dog scratches the door. Zadza, stop it. Um, they don't really need to know how you're going to get them there. Just like, you know, Denise has her superpowers. Ravi has her superpowers. Alina, Tina, everybody who's in here, Kervin, we all have our superpowers and we all have our methodology. The methodology is not necessarily what the client needs to know in the messaging. What they need to know is why, what's your mission? What, what is they, what, why are they going to want you? What, is, what does it feel like for them? The messaging comes from your gut, guys. It doesn't come from doing all these crazy exercises and writing all this nonsense and all this Insta coach stuff. The truth is it's got to be really clear. And the first thing that comes to mind is usually the right thing. It's when we start second guessing that we have to make things fancy. It's when we start second guessing what our gut's telling us to do that the confusion comes in. Now, in the online world, a lot of people are going to debunk what I say. and They're not going to disagree. And I really don't give a shit. You know why? I've been in business 33 years, so obviously I'm doing something right. Does that make sense? And that's something, right, is listening to my inner guidance. So don't be so wrapped up in the wording. Your messaging is reflecting on what you are giving people. What's that end result? And guess what? Nine times out of ten, I've noticed, it's an early version of you. Everyone I'm talking to, everyone I help is an earlier version of me. And ironically, it's like, wow, some women are, have gone through divorce. Some women are just restarting their lives. Um, it's it's definitely people who connect with that consciousness, with their intu with their intuition, who want more, but just don't know how to move past their limitations. And it's refreshing. Whenever you try and quiet what your inner voice is telling you, you're going to make a mistake in your messaging. Now, of course, there's a bunch of other things you're going to do to fine tune that, but your message is clearly what's the result you're going to bring these people. At the end of the day, what is the end going to be? Um, let's just say if there is a chiropractor I'm working with, her end result for, let's say, her niche is she's going to relieve your lower back pain so you can go back to playing tennis. Her message is going to be based on what she really, why she started doing this, but because she, her back had gone out. And she, she knew what it felt like not to be able to go play tennis anymore. And she really wanted to help people and serve people by using her magic of being a chiropractor to help them get their life back. Does that make sense? Like, go backwards and really just dig inside your heart. Messaging is all about how you're going to help people, what solution you're going to give them. It's not about all this fancy jargon that people are teaching you online, making all this big drama. The simpler it is... And this, the re, it's got to be real, guys, and connected to your gut. So I want you to step back, forget everything you've ever learned, and listen to your intuition. And if it sounds not right, then say to yourself, why am I fighting this? Write it down. Your first instinct is right on. When you change, you ever see when you take a test and you pick the first answer, then you change it, you always make a mistake? It's so true. 
Can I see some hearts? How many of you are just sitting here going, oh my God, that's a whole different way of looking at it. I see all the hearts. I see all the faces. Oh my God, tears, angry faces. Holy smokes. Now remember, as our wonderful mentor and teacher, Denise says, I don't want you to believe a goddamn word I'm saying until you feel it yourself. Because the truth of the matter is, every single one of us is different. But what doesn't differentiate is that we're all beautiful souls. We all have a magic. We may have all been a little bit clouded by the online world. But the good news is that you all can access this. You can access it now while I'm talking to you. You can access your intuition later. You can access it 24-7. That first feeling you get, it's the knowing without the knowing. As long as it's not fear-based, if it feels fear-based, remember that could be ego getting involved. And just tell them, listen, thanks a lot, but I don't want to go go back to bed. I'm not, I'm not interested in you today. And go back and talk to her. The divine feminine is going to tell you what's going on. Your light's going to tell you what go, goes going on. And by writing down, your reason why you started your business, your reason why you want to do what you're doing. Be like, you know, you want to help other people lose weight or you want to help them get their life back after post-traumatic stress disorder or you want to help them not have back pain anymore or you want to help them get through divorce after losing their home or you want to help them rebuild their finances or you want to help them, you know, save money on taxes. You have to remember why you started this. And why you started it is most likely not to make money. Money is a residual. But you started this, there's got to be your purpose and your soul connected to that. And if you don't feel that, this may be why your messaging is off. And this may be why you're not attracting the perfect clients. Because honestly, guys, I've been attracting clients where there's high ticket, low ticket. I mean, you name it, I've done it all. If you're not synchronized and your synchronicity, your your soul is not aligned, you're not going to attract the people who are going to be reflection of what you can do because it all comes down to intuition. It all comes down to your superpower, and it all comes down to really stepping into who you are, not the guy next door, not the lady down the street, not the entrepreneur that you see in the group that has 10,000 people. It doesn't mean a goddamn thing. You and how you do things has to be the way it works for you. That's your intuitive magic. I always break the rules. I never conform. You know why? Because that's me. And my intuition tells me what to do. And that's what you need to do too. Because when we follow that gut feeling, it's not wrong. It's not a learned behavior. You can't unlearn your intuition. It just is. It's your core. It's in your soul. So that being said, guys, this is how I create myself. And it doesn't have to always stay the same. This is another thing I want to address. Your messaging in your business, as you evolve and maybe as you shift, because it's okay. Don't stay stuck in a place that doesn't feel good anymore. If it doesn't feel good, then take a step back. Evaluate what's going on. Evaluate your feelings. Ask your higher self, what do I need to do? Where should I be going? What is it I need to focus on? She'll answer you. Write it down. Write it down. And then follow that. And if you need to switch out what you're doing, if you need to switch out who you're talking to, if you need to switch out your one-liner, if you need to switch out your whole target market because it was not the right thing that maybe someone else told you to do, then do it. Because I've been through that myself. I've had $40,000 coaches that ruined my career. I want to take that back. That didn't ruin my career. I allowed them to guide me to a place that didn't feel good. But guess what? I I wiped it all away and I restarted and I'm like, wait a minute. I'm doing this my way. And I show up aligned. You can see the light in my eyes as I'm talking to you. I know you feel connected to me. I feel your love and energy. That's intuitive power. And nobody, nobody could take that away from you. So, guys, I hope this was informative. There's so much more to this that, that I could just keep talking about this for days and days. I will be in this group sharing other workshops. I have a few topics Denise and I picked up, but guess what? We are open. I am open. You know what I'm about. 
You know what I do. You know my expertise. I want to give you what you want because this is not about me. And remember that too, guys, before I sign off here and do questions. It's not about you. When you're in business, it is now about them. The perfect client, it's about you expanding. Feel this. You're expanding your mission to make changes in people's lives. Otherwise, you should really not be in business. You might want to reevaluate what you're doing. I know you might not like what I'm saying, but you really need to. Business and being an entrepreneur is not for everyone. You may have been misguided, so maybe we can reboot that and fix that. You have an amazing mentor here. Denise is amazing. You listen to what she says. You follow through. You need any support, I'm here for you. I want you to remember that you have the power to do anything that you want if it feels right. If you're going against your gut, it ain't going to work. So I'm going to do some Q&A, guys. Let me see if I can see these comments. Yes, Tina, quiet the mind. Um, wow, so many beautiful comments, guys. I love this. <laughs> Lily is not a conformist. Makes sense. Oh, guys, oh, hey, hey, Kervin, how are you? Chris, this is so much better than formulatic yet. Yes, thank you, guys. So let's have let's have some questions. Do you guys have any live questions? Or like I said, you could put them in the comments, and I will be even more than happy to pop in later if Denise doesn't mind and just answer the questions in a live. That might be even easier. Um, let's just say I don't see questions here. I don't know if they're on the delay. Hold on a second. Hold on, guys. Hmm. I'll have some decaf while I'm waiting for this to load. I know Christmas is over, but I use my little Christmas mugs all year long. <laughs> yes, later I will post those apps I use. I have quite a few of them. One's like $10 a month. It's... um. Oh my God, I'm having a mind block. I can't think of what it's called, but I'll post all the links below. It's awesome because I just make like a video on Zoom and I have it go to my YouTube. I have it go to my Facebook Live. I can go to a group. And of course, the more people you share with, it might be a little bit more expensive each month. Um, so let's say, oh geez, do, does stopping a client from going to a business that does not provide good service wrong? I have another client give me how they were treated. So the truth of the matter is... Um, I've had people, I tell them the truth. So I would just, as a business owner, I think it's really important to be discerning on how you share information, especially about another business owner. So if I know a client has had a bad experience or is going towards a coach or a business or a hairdresser, whatever, what I will do is I will just say, hey, you know what? Um, so when I just heard that so-and-so didn't have such a great experience. Maybe it'd be a good idea to do a little bit more research. And if you really love them, you can just send them a link to something to just do more research. I always suggest be truthful, but be mindful that you don't criticize other entrepreneurs or you don't judge other people because then you're going to start judging yourself. It's a tricky subject. I have to tell you in one of my businesses, I remember there was a, a spa owner down the street who was so envious of my practice because I was young and I was making like six plus figures in the nineties when nobody freaking did that. One day I just went over and I brought him a coffee because he was a much older gentleman. He was like my dad's age at the time and he had a different mindset. I became friendly with him and he didn't even know like how to deal with me because he didn't get where I was coming from. So point of story is it's always better to lead with love than with hate. And if you're gonna, uh, tell someone that they're going to someone that's, you know, you want to help them. Do it in a mindful manner. This is just my personal opinion. I don't like talking shit about anyone. Um, but I will, with love, share truth. So does that, I hope that answers your question, Tina. Because once again, we all want to, you know, put out in the universe what we want back. So it's super, super important. Oh my God, I see all these wonderful... Lelina, you're a single mom, divorced 12 years. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I've, I've had it. I've been through the ringer. But guess what? I came out on top, and we all can. So, guys, do you have any more questions? Let's just see. Denise, any more questions here? So this is what I'm going to do. Because I'm seeing so much of a delay, and I know there's so many questions here, 
I want to just before all of you, before I sign off, I want to thank you all for taking the time to hang out with me today. If you have questions, post them in the comments and I will answer them one on one, one, one at a time. If you would like to have a collaboration call with me, if see if I can serve you, if I can help you, I'm here for you. Once again, if there's topics, thank you for all the hearts, guys. If there's topics, what you want me to talk about, it's really about you. It's not about me. So I do have a few topics picked out up until April. Denise and I worked a few things out. But if there's something specific you want to know, remember, 33 years real offline business experience, intuitive. I'm an integrative healing practitioner. I can help you with quite a number of things. If you need help even like showing up, you know, I do really well Facebook lives. I built my whole business on video. So whatever it is that you want, you let me know. Check out my page, check out my personal page, check out my business page, Maria Fontana Consulting, check out my website. You'll get a feel from what I'm about and anything I could do to serve you. I am in New Jersey, so if you're local, close enough, we want to do something together, support each other, please, guys. I am a real businesswoman. I'm an energist and I'm a lover and I want to serve you. So don't let anyone cloud you with online bullshit. I love you all very much. Let me just see if anybody else put anything in here. New comments. Oh, great life. Thank you. Thanks, Terry. Oh, I love you guys. You guys are so sweet. I really love doing lives. And if you can't tell, I love being on video and connecting with everyone. It's the closest thing to being live with someone in a room. So guys, I'm sending you all massive love and light. Hey, by the way, if any of you guys want a copy of my book, I will physically mail you a copy. All you got to do is send me your address and messenger and I will mail you a copy of my book. Denise included. I do have your address and I do owe you a book. I have two books out, Love and Light and business is a spiritual thing. I'm still waiting for them to hit the bestseller list, but I don't give a shit. That's all good. I love you guys so much. Have an awesome day. I hope I've impacted your life in a positive way today. You guys rock. I'm looking forward to your addresses. If you want that book or if you want it virtually, I do have digital copies. Just, you know, drop me a line of messenger and I'll send it over to you. Have a great day guys. Thank you so much. Love and light.